We drive past them every day without realising it, but our rivers are slowly changing. The experts say they're in trouble. Sally Ihan has details. Tim, looking out over Matilda Bay, it's hard to believe that anything is wrong, but experts say our rivers are struggling. Not terminal, but there are dead zones. They say a big part of the problem is the fact that we're seeing less rainfall, and that's leading to changes beneath the surface. The Swan and Canning waterways have been here in different forms for millions of years. They're our city's crown jewel, but they're changing. Both our major rivers are becoming saltier, and that's changing what can live in them. Some fish species are disappearing from the rivers, not able to survive as the salt levels rise. New ones are coming in. Tropical species like giant herring can be found near Fremantle. If the salinity continues for a very, very long time, then you find a change in fish species. Our rivers face many challenges. The biggest factor is the drying climate. Less rainfall means more salt water. 20 years ago, the Swan could rely on healthy winter rains to flush out the system. But with rainfall rates dropping and the Bureau warning of a drier future, our river will either suffer or adapt. Toxic sea algae are now growing in the rivers because of the increase in salt levels. The sea algae strip our rivers of oxygen, damaging fish life. UWA academic Jörg Imberger says the result is dead zones in the upper reaches, including the Guildford area. The river seems to be dead in certain times of the year, about six months of the year, underneath at the low water. So crabs and prawns and so forth have pretty much disappeared. The fish are still coming in near the surface and depending on which time of the year you go, the problem's worse or better. Dr John Jacobs says the new fish species show the river is not dead, just changing. In 1935, people said the river is dead. Again, it was repeated time and time again. I think uh, the river is resilient. One has to look at the climatic changes in detail. Most experts say our rivers are in trouble, that they're on life support. The Liberal National Government has invested heavily in the health of the river, including we now have four oxygenation plants, one or two on the Swan River and two on the Canning River, as well as a third one coming online soon. Uh, and also we've invested in nutrient stripping wetlands further upstream. The good news, they are safe for people to use, as they always have been. The experts say that the rivers do have a future and that we can make a difference. I feel the future is quite uh, optimistic. If people are alert and we take the necessary action. Once people take ownership, West Australians are pretty resilient, the problem will go away. But it's this big hurdle that we have to make people aware what the problem is, get them to face up to it and then find their own solutions. Now the experts say that we have a big part to play in shaping the future of our rivers and it's just by doing some simple steps that we all know about like washing your car on the lawn so that detergents don't get into the stormwater drains. And for gardeners, simple things like using water wise and toxic free fertilisers. And if you simply buy the river just picking up some rubbish or some dog poo. But Tim, they also say it's really important just to make sure we enjoy the river rather than just driving past it or over it. And if you'd like to find out more information on the state of the Swan River and the challenges that it faces you can jump onto wa.today.com.au and there's a number of great feature articles under Save Our Swan. But I'll be back a little later with a look at your seven-day forecast here from beautiful Matilda Bay.